I mean, training camp hasn't even started. OTAs ain't started. We ain't got through preseason. Isn't it a little bit early for Jadavian Clowney to be signing? But YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the Browns, they get to run it back with their guy Jadavian Clowney. Now, if y'all been following this channel for a while now, y'all know like Jadavian Clowney is probably one of my favorite players. Uh, and somebody that I've wanted my Ravens to sign and get for the longest. Um, and they tried to. They tried to. I remember uh, a couple years ago, um, they tried to do a, a sign and trade. To I think it was with the Jaguars or the Saints, where one of those two teams were going to sign Jadavian Clowney. And then they were going to take on uh, the majority of the cap space. Then they were going to trade him to the Ravens. But... Somebody decided they wanted to tell the NFL uh, before they actually did it. They could have just done it, but they decided, hey, you know what? Let's tell the NFL. And the NFL said, nope, we ain't doing it. But anyway, um, the Browns, they get Jadavian Clowney at one year, uh, 11 mil, up to 11 mil. I'm not sure what the details of the deal are, um, but they get that guy back. Um, they, of course, Miles Garrett, one of the best pass rushers, and you pair him alongside with Jadavian Clowney, pair Yon Winfrey, who they just drafted to. I know a lot of Browns fans were happy about that. Now, the thing with, with Jadavian Clowney, uh, you get great run stopper, uh, explosive pass rusher, doesn't always get the numbers as far as sacks and whatnot, um, but he can definitely get some pressure on them quarterbacks, and he has that speed at the edge position to make stuff really, really scary. I think last year he, um, he ended up with nine sacks. I think uh, four of those sacks, he ended up getting them like in the last two games. Um, but Jadavian Clowney is somebody that can make some stuff happen. And if, especially if you put him in the right position to succeed, man. You put him in the right position to succeed. Sometimes even if you don't put him in the right position to succeed, he can still succeed. Um, uh, but he, I know he gets a lot of flack. Uh, I know people say he takes plays off. Uh, people say that, um, he's a diva cause he don't ever want to sign before training, training camp. That's why I'm very surprised that like he's signing now. Like, usually, Jadavion Clowney, free agent? Oh, okay. We ain't about to hear about from Jadavion Clowney for a long time. But this, so that's why I said this is so early. But kudos to him. Maybe he's showing, like, hey, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm trying to make this thing happen. Um, so good for him. Now, with, uh, with Jadavion Clowney, this Brown, like, really, this Browns roster, they are always, like, loaded. You look around the Browns roster, they always look like a Madden team. Like, a, a Madden team that's, like, you 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 got everybody for the low. You got so many like fire players on the squad now. Again, we keep having the same conversation uh, over and over again. How will the Browns put this thing together? How will they do it? Of course, they get some guys back healthy again. Uh, they just signed uh, Denzel Ward to that big contract uh, a little while back this off season. Um, greedy Greedy Williams, he'll be back. Hopefully, he'll stay healthy. Hopefully, Denzel Ward can stay healthy too. Um, cause he has some injury issues as well. He's had some injury issues, uh, throughout his career as well. Um, but yeah, man, this, this Browns team, we're going to see what they made of. Now today, of course, we, we've seen the pictures. We heard about, oh, Deshaun Watson taking the offense to the Bahamas. Now I guess they got there today. They all took their, their picture, everybody flexing and stuff, smiling like, Hey, let's get it. But there's a lot of concern about the Browns offense. Um, Amari Cooper, I know they drafted a couple of receivers too. Still got Donovan Peoples Jones. Um, they were apparently working on a contract with David Njoku, their tight end. They got rid of uh, Austin Hooper. Um, but the Browns, uh, a lot of concern around that quarterback, as there should be. And, and of course, because there's still so much questions as to what is going to happen with one uh, Deshaun Watson. Um, you think about the situation and, and there's been that report that came out, I think yesterday that, oh, the league is probably going to make a decision on, uh, or Deshaun Watson's agents expect the league to make a decision, uh, by June or July. It's not really saying much, but like, we're really waiting it, uh, awaiting that decision any day now. It could happen before then, it could happen after, it could happen then, we're waiting any day now. But, um, I, whenever I like really like think about it. I'm like, wow, the Browns, they took a very, very huge risk. But I think with the Browns, the way that they structured his deal, um, with Deshaun Watson, 
they are hoping something happens. I think they're really banking on him for the future. I know, of course, they're hoping that he plays this year. He, he's going to play this year. He's going to play this year. NFL, they are a business. Uh, in NFL, they are going to make their money. Deshaun Watson is going to play this year. I, I can guarantee it. But how much will he play if he does get suspended? Um, we'll see. But the way that the Browns, they, they, uh, con- con- they worked his deal. The way they constructed his deal. Couldn't think of the word. Um, he has the, the $1 million salary for this season. Uh, then after that, it shoots up. But So if he is suspended this year, just loses a million dollars. That's it. And he got, what, 230 mil guaranteed? So he just, so he, whoa, whoa, 229 mil guaranteed left. Oh, what a shame. So Deshaun Watson financially will be all right. So I'm sure he, he probably paying for everybody. He like, man, he Browns gave me 230 mil guaranteed. He still had the contract that he signed from the Texans. So Deshaun Watson is eating. That dude got a lot of bread. So I'm sure he, and then he probably paid for all these Browns offensive players to come out to the Bahamas. And then he's going to be like, oh, tax write-off. It is a business trip, and I brought all my business partners along for the ride. So, yeah, right off. So, he'll get that back. So, boy, that dude is, he, but anyway, we'll see what happens with the suspension. Um, They did sign like, Brown signed like 60 quarterbacks besides Deshaun Watson. I think they got Jacoby Brissett. Uh, they signed, oh, the one who used to play for the Steelers, and I cannot remember his name right now. Urgh. Somebody put it in the comment section. I just I can't remember his name right now. I think he's like number number two for the Steelers. He got the he got a bald head. Josh Dobbs. There we go. Josh Dobbs. There we go. I got it. Um, and Baker Mayfield. He's still sitting around. Baker Mayfield's still sitting around. Like man, he did his little interview a couple weeks ago. There's just been nothing with Baker Mayfield. A lot of people thought okay during the draft, but right before the draft, maybe during the draft. Maybe even right after the draft, okay, we'll see how the quarterbacks shake out, different teams' quarterback situations shake out. But, no, hasn't been anything. So, Baker Mayfield just sitting there, sitting there. There's been the reports that, oh, the Seahawks, or no, the Panthers are still interested in him. Okay, yeah, we'll see. But, I like, Brown's got a lot going on. They got a lot going on this offseason. And it's going to be one of those stories where it's like, man, like, I don't know. It's just always something. Browns know how to keep stuff entertaining. They they never fail at that. Um, but yeah, this the whole Deshaun Watson thing, man. It is just it's been a crazy roller coaster, man. Crazy roller coaster of just insanity, Con- consistent insanity. That that would be the perfect two words to describe it. Um, so now with him, it's just a wait and see type of thing. So, I, and I guess, like, he's doing everything that he possibly can uh, to prepare for the suspension. The reason I say that is because right now he's, uh, he's going to be working with all the offensive guys that are going to the Bahamas, going to have a good time, and also get some work in. Probably going to do a lot more having a good time than getting work in, but, hey, that's, do your thing. But um, I'm sure he's going to want to try to build up chemistry as much as he possibly can um, before he gets suspended. Because I'm sure he's expecting to be suspended. Think of everybody around the league expect him to be expects him to be suspended, um, but if you have if if you come back from suspension and you then you start trying to build chemistry, it's gonna it, you can do it, but it's gonna take more time. But if you have chemistry already, yeah, you miss those first probably six weeks because they, they, that's that's what they're gonna do. That's why they made the 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 schedule like they made. They, he's probably gonna be suspended six games and then make his debut against the Ravens. Ah, what a debut, huh? But I, I think that's how it's gonna go. I think he'll be suspended six games, and then he'll come through against the Ravens. That's when he'll show up, will be able to show up. Um, so, well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, Browns just got, they just got a lot going on. But anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. Uh, I appreciate y'all, and I hope y'all are having a great Sunday or whatever day you're watching this on. I hope everything is going really, really good for you. I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you for subscribing and supporting, and we out.